up guys today I'm gonna answer some questions about x-ray uh, question I've got is do they x-ray every weld out here on the job um, my personal experience since I've been welding pipe for the past six years every job I've been on they they have shot 100% of the welds um, with that being said I asked my welding partner Jerry that's been pipelining for 30 40 plus years you know I asked him what he knew about that and uh, if he's ever been on jobs where they had a certain percent because I, I've heard of such thing and uh, he said your DOT lines like these these bigger lines that go in that are they're planning on being you know in the ground for several years like for a very long time like permanent lines and uh, DOT regulated lines those are going to be 100% x-ray uh, he said some of your distribution and like gathering lines or uh, maybe even like a temporary line that they they know they're gonna only use for 5, 10, maybe even 15 years, but it's still temporary in the grand scheme of things. He said some of those lines might only be like 10% or whatever, you know, it's not gonna be 100%. No, that's not all the time, but that's just some of the cases that you might have that situation. Another question was, do they x-ray your weld on your test? It depends on the test. Um, most, I don't know, I'm not going to say most, but a lot of tests, uh, they they won't x-ray it, but there are some some tests where uh, they x-ray it, they x-ray it, and they also pull straps out of it. I've even heard of tests where they just x-ray it. So, a little bit about the codes. There's two different codes that I, that I know about. Uh, the first one is 1104 which is what I weld under most of the time being on mainline work. Um, the other one is a little bit more severe than 1104. It is B31.3. Uh, a lot of that's going to be like your higher pressure or like in, uh, in station work or stuff. They just require a, a stricter code, weld under a stricter code. So uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that simply because I'm not sure about all the differences but the main difference is 1104 is known to be more lenient than b 313 and then uh, as far as repairs go uh, some jobs a lot of jobs you go on nowadays is three repairs three to five repairs and you're out or they go off a certain percentage like you got to have you know like instead of going off of three repairs and you're out they they go off of how many welds you've made compared to how many repairs you've had and as long as you're under a certain percent you're still in the game you know so that's the best I know how to explain that um, so that's that's a little bit about x-ray and how how it works and uh, I think that's gonna be it um, hope you guys are able to learn something ask me questions in the comments if you guys have any uh, not next week, but the week after that, I believe I'm going to have an introduction to Sam, my helper, since I haven't properly introduced him, but I'm going to introduce you guys to him, uh, let him tell you guys a little bit about how he got into this line of work, and just kind of what he does, how, how he travels, and how he um, does things on the road, since he's he's been doing this stuff for a really long time, uh, eight or nine years, I believe, he's been traveling, pipelining. After that, we're going to have a, another video about a day in the life of helpers. So, be looking forward to that, and, and we will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, learn something every day.